Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video guys, I want to talk to you about uh, mining rigs and heating uh, as the summer is approaching. Uh, you know, obviously the heat is a big problem for most of us. And I want to show you what I'm doing and hopefully you can, uh, you know, learn from it uh, and use it in your situation. Of course, if there's something that I haven't covered, uh, feel free to share it with me and everybody else in the comment section so we can all learn from each other. So here it is guys. Now what I'm doing of course works in my uh, the circumstances the flat I'm having or the, you know the so I can put the rigs where I'm putting them and you have to obviously adjust if you're going to use this information in your circumstances so the first rigs the RX 580 as you can see it's placed uh, close to the window uh, it's getting uh, airflow what you want to do guys when you are placing uh, rigs uh, facing windows um, you want to make sure that the hot air is going towards the window so it's coming out of the room rather than staying in and uh, what I have done in this case is that I have obviously opened uh, the door on the other side which creates an airflow so the heat can go out of the uh, window. Uh, another thing you want to uh, remember in regards to the rig is that you don't want to uh, put more than uh, two risers into uh, one cable. So you don't want to connect more than two risers into one cable guys. If you, do, if you connect more uh, you are risking the, uh, of them overheating and obviously burning out. And uh, I suggest if you do uh, have more than two, uh, obviously organize and make sure you connect only two to one cable. Obviously, you gotta be sure that uh, your PSU allows that, and hopefully, you do have the options to stick more cables. Uh, and if you don't have any, go ahead and buy because you definitely want to look after the rigs and making sure that they are running smooth and you, you don't get overheating of the risers or anything like that. So that is a, a tip from me guys, if you are obviously unaware of that, go ahead and check it out. Another thing I am constantly doing on a daily basis pretty much is that I'm checking how the, you know, I, I come to the rigs and make sure that I don't smell any burning, I don't see any smoke. And obviously making sure that the risers are doing fine and pretty much everything is as it should be. Um, also guys, by placing the rig next to the window, you gotta make sure that when you're leaving the house, uh, you're checking the weather, making sure that if necessary you close the window because you don't want it to come back and if there's rain or anything like this, the rig to be gone. Uh, so as you can see I've got a very good blind that I can put up and down to also uh, obviously stops the sun coming in and uh, so it doesn't really you know, hit the rig. Um, I have a very short cable at the moment because this is the cable that comes from the PCU but I'm going to be investing into a longer extension so I can I have the options to pull the rig away from the window and pull it back in and if needed even pull it in another room without having to disconnect it from the power. So this is the first rig guys, now let's move on to the next ones. Ignore the, the mess guys, I mean this is the, you know, the life of a miner and especially if you do it in a home. So here it is the RX470 rig, again close to the window, same uh, blinds so I can put them up and down. The heat is also again facing towards the window, so with the airflow, as you can see, as you've just seen, everything is open in the flat, so it creates a good airflow. The heat can come out, uh, you know, away from the room. Same thing, pretty much with the rig, guys. Uh, make sure the risers are connected only to to a cable. Check them on a daily basis. Make sure everything is running fine. Of course, if necessary, invest into a fan. As you can see, I've got a fan which I place at the back of the rig. And when necessary, put it on so you know, make sure it, you know, it cools the rig, and of course, it blows the air out of the uh, window. Uh, if needed, uh, I may uh, buy small uh, fans which I can place obviously right here. So, again, they could be working pretty much constantly in the when it's hot, so it can help to keep the cool uh, the cards cooler. What you have to remember is that you gotta keep the cards as cool as possible, guys, to prolong the life of the cards. If they're obviously heating too much this will shorten the life of the cards and that's a you know hopefully that would not happen uh, to you um, so uh, what you don't also want to do is if you do buy the fans I've seen some people doing it I'd say it's not a right idea you don't want to put the fans on top of here and obviously blowing the air downwards you want the air to always go away from the rig as much as possible another tip I'd say guys I have I bought a very long Ethernet cable and a very long extensions. Uh, as I quickly show you, this allows me obviously to uh, move the rigs uh, while uh, you know they are connected to the power. But I can move them easily without having to disconnect them. I can place them, as you can see, in a different uh, you know 
place in the rooms uh, closer to the windows away from the windows and yeah it, I think it's a good investment and it's not an expensive expensive investment <laughs> the most expensive obviously is the the rigs so having to spend a few more bucks for the long ethernet cable and the extension I think it's uh, worth it at the end next rig uh, one more time one more thing guys if you want you can invest into uh, something like that so you can keep the, the watch and see what's going on it, it, they do come helpful guys, uh, this is the router I'm using, uh, very powerful and as you can see all the cables connected, long cables to, towards all the, the rigs. So here's the other one, the RX480, uh, this one is actually doing very well at about 920 something 30 power. Same extension guys, very long which I will be investing in buying for the RX580 which was uh, sold uh, the first rig. And as you can see, same long internet cable allows me to move the rig. In fact, this rig at night sits uh, right here uh, next to the other window. So you have it here, the, this one. So, you know, and if I put the fan, it blows the air very nicely away from the two rigs. But at the moment, because it's during the day, it's a bit more hot. I put it right here in the hallway. Uh, creates a very nice airflow, keeps the rig very cool. I'd say this is the coolest rig at the moment because of where I can place it. But the reason I can place it here, guys, is because I have this long extension, long internet cables, and as you can see, there's really good benefits to it. And with the rig, pretty much the same thing. Check the risers on a daily, uh, make sure everything is working fine. Keep checking, guys, your temperatures on the, um, you know, maybe in Claymore. Or the Strix, just making sure everything is you know working fine with the temperatures of the rigs, and you and again you want to place the heat going out. So the heat on this rigs is coming uh, this way. So as you can see, it's not facing into the room; it's facing out into the hallway. So it, it kind of drifts away, and it doesn't uh, heat uh, any of the rooms. Now, when winter comes, it will be a different. But for the summer, it's like that. And as you can see, ignore the mess, I've got another door open over here, so it creates very nice airflow towards pretty much all the rigs. And I've put them as far as possible as I can, each from and everyone, so they don't obviously heat each other and, create, and especially make the room like a sauna. So that's with that guys, uh, if there's anything that I haven't covered, feel free obviously to cover, uh, you know, comment down below so I can also learn from you. Another thing if needed. I can always put an air conditioning on or again as I said uh, having fans working making sure keeps the uh, rigs cooler. Now let me show you something else right here into the computer. Uh, just log in for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to finish uh, because I know it's gonna run out. So quickly, uh, there's a commands you can use guys and then you find them. Um, so in Claymore, if you're mining with Claymore, uh, you can use commands like this uh, T stop 85, which means uh, the miner will stop if it reaches the set temperature. You don't want obviously the cards to be working over 85 uh, temperature, so definitely, uh, you know, it's a good command. So if you're out and if anything was to happen and they start overheating, uh, the miner will stop and will uh, protect your uh, rig. Another thing you can put the minus, uh, well, the dash TT65, which is a target temperature, which again is a very good target temperature for the cards to be working. It's not guaranteed that it will do the job and make sure that they're staying at 65, but you can put it on and, you know, uh, hope that uh, it will try to obviously uh, achieve this temperature. As well as you can put a dash fan min, uh, which is uh, 60 on, on me, which will be, um, which means in the summer, the, the fans will be working minimum 60% and then you can put fan max which obviously is 100. And one more thing, uh, if necessary guys, uh, underclock the cards, um, you know, it, because most of us we have them overclocked at the moment working as much as possible but if it's too hot try to underclock, make sure you, you know, you put the, obviously the hash is a bit down but at least you're protecting your cards because that's the most important thing, I don't care if I mine five or ten mega hashes less as long as obviously my cars are cooler then you know they're not getting overheated and overworked uh, of course you can put it down uh, when it's too hot and then you can over you know overclock it again when it's uh, maybe at night time or when it's cooler you just have to obviously play around with it well that's what i have for you guys hopefully you find it useful if you do uh, feel free to uh, share and subscribe uh, if you like the channel and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed this video if anything you've learned feel free to obviously share it if anything else that i haven't covered also feel free to share it with me and everybody else so we can continue uh learning from each other but remember guys we gotta keep the rigs uh, very nice and cool especially in the summer so we can prolong their life 
And yeah, hope you enjoy this one. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.